Hi there everybody, I hope you are doing well. Uh, welcome back to the channel, Karibu Sana. If you're new here, we do videos about gardening on this channel, so uh, consider subscribing. Uh, if you are a returning viewer, Karibu Sana, today is yet another video of garden awesomeness. So yeah, today I'm going to be working on these plants. Upper Yuma, I'm going to be reporting some and then we'll water them using uh, vermi liquid so yeah karibu sana to the video give it a thumbs up because i know it's going to be great and yeah let's garden let me show you the state of the garden kwanza how it is at that now and then we continue these are the ones that i'm going to be reporting this one he doesn't seem to be so happy but i think it is dry so I will report and water thoroughly. So I'm reporting this one, I'm reporting this one. I'm going to be propagating this. My containers are somewhere in here. I use recycled uh, containers. So that is what I'm going to be using. And then all this madness, this one is my soil, my manure and everything. So the rest of the garden is looking nice my tomato is doing well i have a ca tomato here can you see it this one i have one here and another one on the other side and then i got some strawberries they are starting to remove new growth so yeah so let the work begin uh, my containers are ready so this is the first one that I'm going to be reporting or reporting for the first time because it is straight from the nursery. So in Kenya, we put um, the, the flowers and the plants from the nursery in polythene bags. So I'll remove that one and put in the container. And I use the same soil that comes with the plant because where I get my plants, the guy usually has very good plant soil with a lot of organic matter. So I use the same and then I'll top up if need be this is a marigold that i got from this plant for free uh, if you watched the other video you will know the story but yeah so i put the plant in top up with soil then i'll add a little bit of manure to just give it extra food and my manure is well 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 done so it, it is not going to burn the plant so i just top it up and then i'm done so it is waiting to be watered and then we go to the next plant I put some of my soil because the container is slightly bigger than the paper the plant came with and then I'll just repeat the same process remove the plant from the paper then put it in the container top up add a little bit of manure and I'm done so yeah same same thing and as you can see I do not remove uh, all the soil from the roots I just let them lose a bit so that when they settle into the new container they're just going to continue spreading the roots plant number two done plant number three um, this one I'm putting soil a lot of soil and manure first because I'm going to be putting the marigold that I found on the other plant in the container so this one didn't come with any soil typically so I'm just putting my own soil and I mix mine with manure because these plants need food so this is also another car plant that I found looked interesting so I put it in so plant number four I guess this plant is called a chrysanthemum. I'm not sure if I'm butchering the name but I opened it and the roots were so intriguing that is the word I'm going to say well formed and it fit into this container like a snag or is it like that <laughs> it fit well so I'm just adding a little bit of soil so that it settles in and then I'm done and then now propagating this pothos uh, propagating is very easy because you see this plant when I got it from the nursery uh, the person gave it to me for very cheap because it was on its way out it was almost dying he had given up on it so alinipati at at a very very good price so all this that i'm going to propagate this is basically how the plant was so the parts that i'm propagating it is 
parts that have been patient for it to grow so you basically just cut small pieces like that and then you stick them in soil water and then all these two pieces will emerge as new branches and your plant will be full so if you want a fuller plant put more pieces in one container so that it, uh, it becomes more full and there you go i'm done looking very nice uh, everything is now waiting to be watered so this is the vermi liquid that i'm going to use don't mind the bottle it's not the packaging it comes in it's just a drinking water bottle i got this vermi liquid from my brother who has a cover me composting unit so i just put a little in my watering water and then i just water the plants as kawaida so just put a little and then you mix well and then this is what you're going to water your plants with and it is full of nutrition and uh, it's very um, healthy water for your plants so that is just what i'm going to do for the entire garden and my plants are going to be happy and so will i so yeah <laughs>